told me stories about you know his, when he played for the Eagles. You know, uh, I, I, I've been told different things and like the great time he had with that organization. You know, the Eagles. You know, they're a great uh, team, great club, and you know it'd be a blessing to be able to you know play for him as well. Carson uh, You know, I'm just you know really just you know waiting for the opportunity. You know, go wherever I go. And I'd be I'd be happy wherever I land. Top billing, billing, of town murk. Top billing, billing. So now I gotta give lessons about Jersey. Yo, I could not wait for this day, man. I don't think you dudes know. Your boy right here was a huge Jeremiah Trotter fan when he was an Eagle. One of my all-time favorite players. I even wore, at least when I had got switched from safety to linebacker, I wore number 54 trying to be like Jeremiah Trotter, right? You get switched. Uh, of course, somebody like me, I've always been into the, the film aspect of everything. I'll just go back and look at Eagles videos and I'll check out my man Jeremiah Trotter. Uh, see how he's fit in the run. Uh, see his tackling, uh, his his tackling ability or his tackling standard. Um, seeing how he was working the shallow zone coverage or even when he gets off in man coverage, even on a running back tight end or whatever like that. I would study stuff like that as a younger cat. Fast forward however many years it's been, right? And your man, Jeremiah Trotter Jr., right? Somebody I paid attention to since he was in high school, a South Jersey cat. And uh, yeah, you hear my man right there at the beginning, if you could hear, right? It was low audio uh, talking about perhaps becoming an eagle. He needs to become an eagle, period, point blank, right? Uh, much love to Edgerin Cooper uh, and, and some of these other off-ball linebackers that you guys want to talk about. Uh, no doubt about that. Uh, much love to my man Steel Chambers, too. He needs to be an eagle as well, but in the later rounds. My man Jeremiah Trotter, yeah by any means necessary needs to be on his team. To me, it might even be bad juju if he's not on the team. It reminds me of Joey Porter last year, right? Joey Porter Jr., uh, while the Steelers did what they did in the first round, uh, with him sitting there in the second round, you knew it just had to be uh, a match made in heaven, and they could not pass on him twice. And as you can see, the results were very good, him starting in this First year as a rookie and shadowing some of the bigger names in the NFL. I feel like Jeremiah Trotter Jr. can have that type of impact for an Eagles team that needs a linebacker. Now, if there was no need at the linebacker spot, it would be what it is, right? But when there's a need, you have that type of legacy somebody like that will put on for the area, South Jersey, Philly, right? Went to St. Joe's Prep. Come on, man. It's a match made in heaven, and I could not wait for this day to talk about this, right? So I'm going to do a little quick film study. You know, I'll get down when I do the real draft profiles. We get all the heights, weights. Uh, we get all the combine measurements as far as agility and all that right there. Come back and do a proper one, right? But, man, let's get it, baby. Fly, Eagles, fly. If we're talking about the Fangio scheme, I definitely will put pressure on linebackers to be gap sound. Uh, but that goes with any defense there. Of course, if you're talking about playing a ton of zone uh, as well, you have to be very disciplined. But the first thing you need to do with a linebacker is determine what type of linebacker you have at your disposal. A guy like Jeremiah Trotter to me is a run and chase linebacker, uh, meaning he's best to the open field to where you can try to mitigate him working around sanitation, right? Uh, he's not one of these guys you want to send in the heavy traffic a lot. Uh, his first instinct is to skirt around blocks. There's no doubt about that. He does not work well off blocks. He can do it. Uh, but what he does is he skirt around. He skirts around it. He has really good agility to do that there. <laughs> to do that there. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he has really good agility to do that. However, you do not want that to be the case every time. You will take yourself out of a play. Uh, but something like this, I think it shows you exactly uh, the type of radar that he has, right? His GPS detects, and look at this right here, going around, oh, skirted around the block, right? Jump multiple gaps. You see right here, this is almost like a line slant up front for Clemson, coming out of a four-man front right here. Uh, this guy right here, he's going back to school, Barrett Carter. Him and Trotter are so fun to watch the last few years. Uh, play together there, um, but if you see right here, you see right there, not trying to meet that inertia, right? Usually would tell somebody, like my man, the actual original Jeremiah Trotter, right? Stack, discard to either side, right? Stack, play the gap to each side, 
and, and then make your move right there. He's automatically going to try to go around the block. But more times than not, he puts himself in good position right there. And as we see here, low pad level, striking at the waist, around the waist to under the buttocks area there. A uh, very sound tackler right there. Not one of these guys who's just trying to show the lunge at you. Look at it again right here. Oh, love it, love it, absolutely love it. If that's your style of linebacker, which to be honest with you, in today's day and age, that is the style of linebacker play because too many guys these days are like 230 pounds. Where back in the day, a cat like Jeremiah Trotter Sr., uh, he was more in the 250 to 260 range. So times have changed. And I even seen where he said that he said, told his son that he was an old school type of player in a new school body. So keep that in mind. So remember, with the advent or people going to it a lot more, you get a ton of trades. Uh, you get a ton of motion that resets uh, the line of scrimmage and definitely res resets the strength of the line of, of scrimmage So, or the strength of the formation. So on this one right here, he's not working to the open side of the field, right? You would consider this. Um, both sides are, are, are don't have a detached tight end to it. So they're not closing off either side of the field here or either side of the formation. But you do have a sniffer right here. So he's working backside because they're pulling linemen on this one right here. So you get to see his instinct right there and coming around, right? A multi-gap approach here and uh, being able to use that GPS detection right here. Look at that. What's that? One of them Garmin Jones right there. Come on. He had to ask Siri. Where at that? I mean, look at this. Stand parallel. Look at those shuffle steps. The original shuffle steps right there when he first takes off right there. Shuffle, shuffle. Make sure you stand parallel to the line of scrimmage and reading. He shuffles all the way over into his game. Look, he never got out of a uh, out of his parallel stance. You see that? That's the little minutia stuff you need to pay attention to, at least when you're rocking right here, baby. You know I'm the best doing it, man. Make sure you're sharing the content, uh, Eagles fans. You guys, if you notice, I'm pulling pulling more and more back off of Eagles content. Um, and like I said before, you guys got to make sure you share it and make sure you do that because sharing is caring. But look at him right here. Look at that shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Stand parallel right there. He went probably three gaps over, put himself in great position, dropped that pad level way down there, right? He's down there to the knees, wrapping him up, doing the damn thing right there. Hell of a technical player. One more time, full speed. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, buddy. Come on, man. I love this game. You can't tell me you don't love this game. Uh, when you're watching good linebacker play like a Jeremiah Trotter Jr. Oh, sh listen, I buried the lead. Ain't shit changed like Rick James, you feel me? I'm still team N'Kobe Dean. Don't get it twisted. N'Kobe Dean is the future of the Philadelphia Eagles. Him and a Jeremiah Trotter in the future, nuts and bananas. Cash shoes, right? So I still believe that Zach, there's a place for a Zach Cunningham for another year. Um, being as though we ran that Vic Fangio scheme on the Sean Desai, and of course, uh, the carryover from there. Now, if he's gone, it's all good. I don't want to see, um, old boy back anymore. So, right, we can, we can, we can go with that tomorrow, right? So, I would go with your man Dean, of course. Uh, you got Cunningham, you will bring along a trotter, and then in the later rounds, you go and grab somebody like Steel Chambers as well. And there's your four man crew right there. You, you infuse a ton of athleticism there, uh, some some youth, uh, some explosiveness. Yeah, I like that type of linebacking core right there, right? So I will also get to guys like Edger and Cooper and some of these other guys you want to get to as well. But I got to start with my man Trotter here. So check this out. This looks like synchronized swimming with Barry Carter right here. Watch them both work, right? Initially, they think it's going to be a pass. You see the zone drop. Then you see them both work, right? Oh, my God. Look at the feel right there, right? The feel, F-I-L-L. Look at this, right? Both drop back, and then once they get the key, that's going to be a handoff right here. Uh, of course, Carter's going to be the first right there who has to meet that block, which works out good for Trotter because obviously we don't see him wanting to be a block, but you can see him, right, take presence in that gap. Look at him. Approach, take presence in the gap, then strike. 
with proper technique. I'm going to keep nailing that home, right? How many times we've seen with some of these linebackers right here, they get to the moment of truth right there and use faulty techniques. Not just linebackers, uh, defensive backs as well. That's some good work, man. Run that again. Huh. Synchronized swimming. Look at that duo right there. Huh. Looking like the future right there. Dean and my man Trotter Jr. I want to get to his blitzing ability in another video here, but look at the thermogenesis right here. He's been able to, all right, uh, thermogenically seek out my man Joe Milton here at quarterback on this approach, right? Look at that. Skirt around the block, like I said before, but look at the activity. Man, that foot energy firing and everything, a real active linebacker. I'm going to run that full speed. Oh. Look at that, man. Made the lineman fertilize himself, right? How you make a man fertilize themselves and he's trying to block you? Look at that. Oh, man. It's like a jump cut. He jump cutted his ass, right? Fertilizer made him turf himself right there, right? Turf builder pro. And then look at that, right? Posted to the left right there. Milton trying to, trying to have an escape plan. Bang. Hitting him with them exit wounds, right? Exit plan to exit wounds right there. What are we doing here, man? All right, let's talk about his chase ability right here. You'll see a sweep. I believe it might be a lead sweep here from, from Joe Milton. Uh, get that lead out right there. Uh, he's working front side here. So sideline to sideline ability, I think he's very good at just for the simple fact that he's going to be a step ahead of you, right? He's going to diagnose extremely quick there. So that does it. I'll be interested to see what he runs, though. Just from my my feel right there of watching his game, um, I wouldn't say he's the most fleet of foot guy, right? I would think a, a Edgerin Cooper is a is a better overall athlete there. But he's not a better overall linebacker, in my opinion. I think Trotter Jr. has that with the technical aspect there. But I do wonder about um, his speed, right? So we'll get to see that here soon. But uh, I think he takes, when he does take a great angle, man, you see right there, he skirted around a block too, which obviously is the open field. You're going to have to do that. But he was able to skirt around a block and still get there before Joe Milton could get to the sticks right there. So that's really good work. Now, here's where skirting around a block could be potentially deadly at times right here. You see the center climb up on him, and he's going to skirt around a block. And when you're skirting around a block like that, you're halfway guessing as well. So... Uh, you could take an educated guess, which he, I would think, would do, right? But most of the time, he's clear out diagnosing. But look at that. That was that was a really bad rep right there. A really bad rep, right? You know what would have happened right here if he would have just met the block? He could have let the play develop a little bit more. But on this one right here, it looks like he took the cheese. I'm not sure. Skirting around the block. He got uh, his wires crossed right there, and he starts to follow the block there. But you can see right here, he's in no man's land, right? He's looking way over here and shit, right? He's checking out them chili this way over here. And the ball is uh, to the other side right there. So, got to be weary of that. Now, remember, on my film studies, I'm going to point out potential flaws as well. But in doing that, don't be one of these people who will magnify the flaws and overlook the, the great stuff that you see, right? Some of the times with Jeremiah Trotter, I wonder about, uh, some of the angles that it would take in open field pursuit. Now, look at this one right here. It looked like it was a good angle. Could that be uh, a speed thing right there? I don't think Joe Milton's the fastest quarterback, but I think he's a lot better athlete than people give him. But on this one right here, it looked like the angle itself here. Now, maybe he was labored at the time or whatever like that. He does make the tackle, but could have definitely been four or five yards um, a little bit behind right there so I don't know it doesn't look maybe out the gate I don't know if he thought somebody had him or something like that because he is working backside so maybe he would have saw right here I don't know maybe he, he thinks that with the outside leverage his his um teammate has right here maybe Joe Milton was going to cut back so looks like that may be the issue right there maybe he was playing him for a potential cutback and working with the inside shoulder force right there then he tries to uh, gear it back up right there. So I don't know. You have to let me know what you think about that particular play. When he's kept clean, though, man, uh, absolutely beautiful. Look at this right here. It goes under the block. <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. Not going anywhere. Look at this right here. Right? They're pulling the tackle. All right, so you get that skip pull from the tackle. 
Uh, he knows that he has outside help right here, so he's going to have leverage with somebody coming here. He can keep it to the inside and play that gap there. Stays disciplined and look at him up here. And, of course, tackling in the strike area. Last one right here, real men watch to the end and then comment. Uh, look at his work right here in shallow zone duty. Uh, you get that bender right here. and Look at him sink underneath. Just reading Gary Schrader's um, eyes right here in this Syracuse game. Look at this. Right? Widens it and then works under. The widening right there let Gary Schrader think that uh, he wasn't going to be in the play. Look at this. Me leaves him on the shuffle, on a widen, just to immediately work back and turn the corner when on the transition of the receiver as well. Plucks that bad boy up out of the air right there. So I want to really want to take focus. There's certain drafts that I take focus on uh, certain positions with this being one uh, for multiple teams that I'm covering. I want to really do multiple uh, multiple videos on the same prospect. So I want to talk about his blitzing and I'll uh, talk about his pass coverage in another video as well. All right? But keep it locked right here, man. It's your boy, Jersey Murph, as always, serving you that hibachi, man. So you have to make sure you tip your waiter. Make sure you're supporting the content by sharing it. Remember, sharing is caring and supporting the content is caring as well. All right? Hit that thanks button. And I uh, do the damn thing like that, man. So uh, shout outs to the entire South Jersey. Uh, shout outs to Philly, North Philly. Shout outs to uh, South Philly, West Philly as well. Elton, Maryland, Wilmington, Delaware, Newark, Christiana, and all that as well, baby. Mm, let's get it. Oh, big salute to Trotter. Let's go. What more can I say? Top billing. Top billing. Jersey, 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 J